Manson's rage Why do the parents plot in vain Seeking to rid themselves of Christ's good blessing A sin we fought from ancient days O oh, parents, why stain with blood our amber ways The God who fashions little ones He sees and hates bloodshed He loves vengeance daughters and his sons. Oh, church, just ask of him and he will give Topeka, Wichita to live and Kansas City with them free from death. For you must do us be not heroes only, rescuing our freeborn babes to spread his laws and love to save the breath to all of Kansas, Lord Jesus. Hi everyone, my name is Jared Burdick. I am one of the leaders of AIMKS, and today I am coming to you from the newly built Light of the Word Studios at Lighthouse Baptist Church, where we will be producing our new show, The Bleeding Kansas Podcast. I want to take some time to personally thank everyone who has supported this ministry over the past year. The fight to abolish abortion in our state wages on as fiercely as ever. When we began the ministry, all we knew was that there was an impossible task in front of us and that we serve a God who can do the impossible. As we have sought to serve him faithfully, he has begun to make the battlefield clear so we can know what tasks at hand need to be prioritized. We have narrowed down those priorities to four areas. The first of those is equipping churches across the state to think biblically about abortion and be involved in the fight to abolish it. The second is to have Christians at the abortion clinics to rescue babies every hour they are open. The third area is to have focused outreach events to evangelize the culture and create online content to further our reach to the masses. The last but not least focus we must have is to educate legislators to pass bills of abolition. All of life flows downstream from the pulpits that faithfully preach God's word. We believe that scripture is clear that it is his bride, the church, who will and must lead the way to end this evil. That is the primary reason we are not a separate organization, but instead a ministry of a local church that can be held accountable by our elders. AIMKS exists to serve other local churches by being an umbrella that God's people can unite under to effectively organize our efforts to abolish abortion. One of the ways we seek to do this is by having a church network that can be used to help local bodies of believers all across the state work together and encourage one another in this fight. If you are a pastor or church leader in Kansas, please consider filling out the church affiliate application on our website. Along with establishing this network, we stand ready to come and help equip your church to think biblically concerning abortion. If you would like myself, or another leader or fellow pastor to come and speak at your church, please get in touch with us and we will get you added to our schedule. James chapter 1 verse 22 makes it clear that if we only hear and agree with God's commands, but do not obey with our actions, we are in fact deceiving ourselves. This is why we must stand in the gap to rescue babies at abortion clinics. It's our goal to have Christians standing at the abortion clinics every hour they are open to plead with parents not to kill their children. Right now, there are clinics in Wichita, Overland Park, and Kansas City. Over the past three years, God has been waking up his church to join other Christians and be present at the final lines to rescue these babies. And while we are thankful for those who have been faithfully serving in those places, there is a great need for more people to be there. Between the now six abortion clinics in the state, They are open approximately 230 hours every week. Of those hours they are killing children, we have sidewalk missionaries present and preaching the gospel approximately only 20% of the time. With new Christians getting involved every week, 
We do believe it is possible to meet our goal this year, but we need your help to do that. And when I say we need help, I'm not asking you to do it for our sake, but for the sake of God's name and glory. I'm asking you for help the same way a soldier in the trenches needs reinforcements. The fact is, as Christians, we have all been commissioned to fight for our King, King Jesus. And make no mistake, he hates the evil practice of child sacrifice that plagues our land. As God's people, we are the tools that he uses to accomplish his will. So I ask you to prayerfully consider joining us at the final lines where we must go to rescue babies and their parents as they too need the gospel and God's good grace because we are required to love them and show them the truth. If you live in the Kansas City or Wichita areas, please let us know so we can help get you plugged into the local schedules there. We will make sure you have the training and resources needed to be a good witness. If you live too far away to go on a regular basis, then please consider joining us for our once a month statewide missions trips. If we want to understand the sheer scale of the effects of abortion, we need to acknowledge that we live in a culture of death. At least one in four women in this country have had an abortion. In Kansas, this year over 8,000 babies will be slaughtered. That's over 21 every day. We must face the fact that this is a violent war being waged in our midst. One of epic proportions. And the enemy is not merely taking prisoners, they are taking lives and destroying souls. So who else is there to fight back if not the church? Who else has been given the keys to God's kingdom? Who else has been given the commission to be light in this culture of darkness? It's time we fight back. Not with physical force, but with the gospel. With God's word, which can cut deep into our very souls and pierce our hearts with the truth. When the Apostle Paul went to the Arapachus, he was going to the center of culture, not to merely share ideas, but to preach the gospel. That's why we have invested a great deal of resources to not only coordinate outreach events, to spread the gospel, but also to record those interactions and reach even more people online. So join us as we take the gospel of life and light into conflict with the culture of death and darkness. One of the most important and yet neglected areas for Christians to be engaged in is with our legislators. God's word is clear that our laws should reflect his good word, and they cannot be partial. Yet today our laws, even past pro-life laws, allow for at least some children to be murdered. The solution to this is to pass bills of abolition that provide equal protection for our pre-born neighbors and criminalize abortion from the point of fertilization. Fortunately, we have legislators in both the House and the Senate willing to sponsor bills of abolition. The part that's missing is the people. It's critical that every voting member of your church personally knows your legislators and that they have a relationship with them. We want to do our part to help train you to build a relationship with your legislators. And with as little as 20 minutes a week, you can be a consistent and much-needed voice of truth to them. It's important that the church sees our state's capital as a mission field, which is why we host events at the Capitol building, starting with our annual rally to abolish abortion. This year, it will be hosted on March 29th, starting at 10 a.m. at the South Steps. This will be an important day for Christians to come together and demand our legislators uphold the Constitution and advocate for biblical legislation that protects the preborn. Please come and join us. I'll close by saying thank you once again, and ask that you keep this ministry in your prayers. Like I said earlier, this is a task that seems impossible, but God's word is full of him doing the impossible and getting all the glory. If you want to stay up to date and involved, please apply to be a member of our ministry on our website today. By being a member, you will have exclusive access to our member network that we use to communicate and coordinate our efforts internally. We would also ask you to prayerfully consider donating to support this ministry. Although we are solely volunteer, solely a volu- although we are solely a volunteer ministry, there are a great deal of costs to help produce the resources we believe are necessary to furthering this cause and abolishing abortion. You can find our contact info and ways to donate on our website, aimks.org. 
If you like listening to podcasts and want to stay up to date about abolition in Kansas, please subscribe to the Bleeding Kansas podcast on any of the major podcast platforms, as well as our YouTube channel to watch and share more videos and content. Abortion is murder, and it must be abolished. Thank you, and God bless. Why do the Kansans rage? Why do the parents plot in vain? Seeking to rid themselves of Christ's good blessing. A sin we fought from ancient days. Parents, why stain with blood our amber ways? The God who fashions little ones, he sees and hates bloodshed. He loved vengeance, preborn daughters, and his sons. Oh, church, just ask of him, and he will give Topeka, Wichita to live, and Kansas City with them free from death. For you must do us be not here. Only 